For those of you who have been around downtown Oklahoma City for a while, you know that back in the late 60s and 70s and the 80s, it was a tough time. We had urban renewal. We tore down all of our buildings downtown and then had no money to build them back. And then there was busing. And then there was the oil bust. And then we had the failure of Penn Square Bank. One thing after another, it was tough. And people fled downtown and went to the suburbs. That made a hard time for St. Luke's. It was during that time in 1974 Dr. Irving Smith was the pastor, and he began working with our laity to say, why don't we create an endowment, a, a foundation, to raise money to help take care of our facility. That was carried on by Dr. Wayne Coffin, and they really asked Reverend Dr. Uh, Joe Shackford to carry that program out. And working with our laity, they began to raise money and to create this foundation. I can tell you that during the 70s and early 80s, it didn't do a whole lot for the church. They were busy trying to raise some money. But when I came in June of 1991, I can tell you by then the foundation was making a huge difference in the life of our church. By June of 1991, our facility was 40 years old. We needed money to try to fix the roof. We needed money to fix the air conditioning. We still need money to fix the air conditioning. <laughs> it enabled us to do so many things to help take care of the facility. In fact, the amount of money we got from the foundation every year was greater than the total amount of money we had in the budget for programming. And I couldn't help but look at that and think, if we didn't have a foundation, I would have to take all the money that we're using on programming just to try to keep the rain out and the lights on and to keep the air conditioning fixed. Let me tell you, I don't know what would have happened to St. Luke's. It was because of the people back in the 1970s who had a vision and were willing to plant seeds that we had a chance. And I can tell you that today we look back on those people and at St. Luke's we talk about the saints on whose shoulders we stand. We have not forgotten those people. Irving Smith was remembered today in our memorial service. Wayne Coffin, Joe Shackford. I, I look back and I think without those people we'd be in serious trouble. They made a huge difference. Well, let me tell you, a foundation is not just for the big churches. It's for all churches. I have a feeling there's a lot of churches who are struggling with deferred maintenance. How many of us have facilities that are aging? We have programs that we want to underwrite and do, and yet we don't have enough money to carry out those ministries. The good news is, you too can have a foundation. We are your foundation. The Oklahoma United Methodist Foundation is yours. All it takes is a phone call. We have staff who will come to your church. They will talk to your people. They will help to raise the money. We will manage your money. All you have to do then is receive the interest. You get the money back so that you can then do ministry and fix your facility, whatever you decide. You have a foundation who is ready to serve you. I want to be honest with you today though. Pastors, those of you who are leaders from the laity here today, if you went back today and you started to do this, you're not going to see much benefit while you're serving your church. You probably won't get a lot of benefit out of it. But let me tell you something. 15 years from now, 20 years from now, 40 years from now, there will be people in your church who will remember you. 20 years from now, 40 years from now, they will look back to you and when you made this decision, and they will give thanks. They will look back and they will call you the saints on whose shoulders we stand. I pray that you will have the courage and the selflessness to make the decision to do something now. If you do, 
you will build a bridge to the future. And that future will look bright. We are here to help you. Just give us a call. Thank you.